Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. It's our first story of the day. My name is Elliot Morgan. Ah! So someone has invented a lightsaber, finally. Okay, well it's not actually a lightsaber, but a team of researchers from the University of Texas at Austin have developed a tiny, tiny, ultra-precise laser that could soon be used in microsurgery for delicate medical procedures. As it stands right now, surgical lasers are not that precise, so when they fix a particular problem in the human body, there's often a lot of collateral damage. The new device is highly flexible, thinner than a pencil, comes with a special microscope, and can deliver laser pulses at 200 quadrillions of a second. It's being compared to a new, real-life, albeit tiny, lightsaber. And if you're wondering how fast a quadrillionth of a second is me going was like thousands upon thousands upon thousands of times too fast. In fact, one quadrillionth of a second is actually known as a femtosecond. With that into perspective, one femtosecond is to one second as one second is to, uh, to 32 million years. Surgeons would be able to target individual cells and would use the precision for things like brain surgery, vocal cords, and spinal cord tumors. According to the project's principal investigator, the probe itself is only 23 millimeters long and it can fit nicely into an endoscope. Adela Benyakar stated, The probe has proven that it's functional and feasible and can be manufactured commercially. Unfortunately, you can't just make a laser and start probing people's brains with it. So it's going to take about five years of trials before this thing goes into practice. That's about how long it's going to take the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to approve this tiny, tiny little Star Wars sword. <laughs> But the prototype that they have has been used on pig vocal cords and rat tails, so hopefully it'll be making the switch from swine and, and rodents to the most delicate areas of your cerebral cortex very soon. But the real important question here is when do I get my real life tiny lightsaber? Well, Joe, this is a medical instrument in its early stages and it's set to make its way into the medical field in a few years, and it's already kind of a tiny lightsaber. So the question now is do you spend thousands upon thousands of dollars for a tiny little lightsaber, or do you hold out for a full size lightsaber so you can finally chop your dad's hands off? Wait, what? Why would I chop? Oh, I get it. If I'm gonna get a lightsaber, I gotta go all the way. So I'm gonna get my lightsaber first, my real life lightsaber, and then I'm gonna get a couple of droids to follow me around everywhere I go. Then you go on an adventure, then you get your dad to stand really close to you, and then you chop off hey, his hand. Hey, dad, come here. Huh? Hey, you wanna, you wanna see my new lightsaber? Oh, that's really nice, son. Do you wanna put your hand on it? Oh, wow, let me just put my hand on it. <laughs> oh, you got me! <laughs> you got me! Thanks for the Christmas present, Dad. I did the same thing to my father. So what other fictional weapon would you like to see come to real life? Personally, I would like a Batarang. My choice is the Magical Glaive from Kroll. Let us know what you want right down there. And then click the like and subscribe buttons and then hit the sanitation or go to sourcefed.com to see the five stories of the day or any story that we've ever covered. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. <laughs> Stop it.